hello everyone welcome once again to my channel now this is the uh, third part of the um, estimator so um, let's look at the question over here now the question says that let the function f of um, x and then theta being equal to theta x to the power theta minus one year and then we are giving the interval zero less than f is also less than one and then the question says that we should obtain the point estimator for theta so in this case we have to use the method of movement estimator to estimate what theta will be in this case and you realize that in this case this is a continuous variable in this case so we are going to use the continuous variable um, formula in doing this so we have u of x here being equal to basically the mu which is also equal to the square root of s f of x here the x where you are given let's say from uh, positive theta to negative theta so in this case we are given our um, and this can be equal to the mean here so you equate everything to the mean so if you are equating everything to the mean which means that the mean here will be equal to just the integral of that is from the upper limit one lower limit zero from the question and then x here multiplied by f of s in this case is just theta x here and then to the power theta minus one here and then we have the x in this case so we realize that the mean here is equal to just um, doing everything here. you know theta here is constant remember you are differentiating with respect to s so what we are going to do is, is just substitute theta out and then we have one zero here and then we multiply through so multiplying this by that you know the bases are the same in this case so it, since the bases are the, the same and they are multiplying that is from the properties of indices if the bases are the same they are multiplied we add the exponent so adding the exponent we are just going to have s to the power theta minus one and then we have another x here so everything is just going to be uh, one year zero here and then we have to the power one so we add them when we add them it goes away and then we just have s to the power theta the x in this case and then this is equal to that so realize that in this case our s by here is just going to be um so we are going to integrate that and then integrating that we just have um this to be um s to the power we add one to the exponent then we divide by what the exponent is have here and then we have one zero here so in this case s by equal to theta here and then we substitute one into it so realize that when we substitute one in here we are just going to get um so another thing we can also do is to just substitute theta plus one outside so we have theta plus one outside here and then we are just left with um this here one and then zero so in this case um i just going to have our uh, uh, mean here to be theta over theta plus one here and then in this case we just substitute one into it so one to the power theta plus one minus zero to the power uh, theta plus one here and then basically with this we just have this place to be zero and then this place just to be um, one theta theta plus one and then you know um, one raised to the power any value here is just one so we just have one here and then we have s bar here so we just have one minus zero and then we have um, just one here so everything is just going to be um, s bar theta over theta plus one and then the question says that we should obtain the estimator for theta so in this case what we do is to make theta the subject here and making theta the subject what we have to do is to cross multiply so when we cross multiply we have um, theta um, s bar theta plus s by a being equal to theta we cross multiply so this multiplies the whole of that being equal to one multiplied by theta in this case we have s bar theta minus theta here we have s bar and then since we have theta on both sides, we just substitute that one out. And then we have this being equal to x here. And then from here, we have theta here to be s bar divided by s minus that. And that will be theta in this case. Now, in a situation where you are given, in the question where you are given, let's say, the, uh, the question is given s being equal to 
let's say s1 is equal to 1 s2 equal to 3 s3 equal to 4 um, and then let's say s s1 s2 and s3 are being given what you have to do in this case that and then you have to estimate that which means that you need to find what s bar is and you can find s bar using the um, the district method remember we said the district method s by year is given by one over the n year and then the summation of the s values so in this case s bar will be equal to just summing the whole of that so this is just one plus three plus four in this case so which is just um, eight divided by the number of samples which is uh, one two three so we have 8 over 3 here so s bar becomes 8 over 3 and then what you do next is just substitute s bar into it and from there we can get what theta is just put substituting this into it so that is another way to also look at it so okay, thank you very much for joining me in this section and um, i'll see you in the next section which will still be on um, method of movement but then in a different way